Hey guys, welcome to Beach and Fishing. Paul here again with you. Beach and Fishing, my site where we talk about all things to do with fishing. A bit of carry on, a bit of fun, nothing too serious, just things that I like about fishing, things that I've found, and some recommended products for those of you either looking to get going or enhance your fishing experience. Today is going to be a very quick one. It's about five must-have tools for, search, for surf fishing. Now these are the tools that if you take nothing else with you and quite often you just want to pick up a rod, pick up a little bag and off you go. These are the tools that in my opinion, my personal opinion, that's what I love about fishing and everyone has an opinion. So normally I say this at the end, but if you have other tools or disagree with me, comment below. I'd love to have Love to hear the feedback and the discussions on what people think about the whole world of fishing. But anyway, before I get carried away, these are my five must-have tools for surf fishing. The first one here is pliers. Now, the thing to remember with surf fishing, or any fishing for that matter, is you're dealing with sharp hooks, you're dealing with line, you're dealing with fish, with spikes and, and teeth and anything else that the, that the surf can throw at you. And quite often it's exaggerated in the surf because you've got waves crashing over you or the wind blowing or birds, eagles trying to steal your bait and fish like we get, <laughs> all sorts of things like that. Pliers come in handy for everything. Um, in fact, if this post was my number one tool for surf fishing, this would be the, the tool that I would take over anything else. This one's got a little crimper thing in it. It's got some, you need, um, long nose. You, I do have seen people with the normal everyday electrical pliers and they work fine. It's got a cutter. The fishing, fishing specific ones tend to be a bit better with the cutters. Um, this one will cut braid. A couple of goes sometimes, but it will cut braid. It will crimp, it will hold, it will hold the fish mouth. And you can The long nose help you get the hooks out of the fish mouth. Um, you can hold fish, you can hold anything. You can fix your rod if something goes wrong, um, anything like that. Get yourself some pliers. These ones, the little crimpers, they're also good if you're trying to put game hooks together, which is something you quite often do when you're on the beach. Um, little things there that you can bring the line in and snap in there, all sorts of stuff for these ones. As I say, these are proper uh, fishing pliers. So that's my number one, take a set of pliers. Number two, your pliers aren't good enough, scissors. Scissors, you'll be amazed how often you need scissors. Cutting line, um, cutting bait even, even cutting, um, if a, I use it the other day because a, a little bit had come off the side of the fish mouth, so I just cut that off to help the fish. Um, I'll drop them. All sorts of things like that. You need a pair of scissors, it, especially if you're using a lot of braid. Again, these are specialist fishing scissors, although they're Pretty plain, they're nice and sharp, they'll cut braid first go. Um, but yeah, fish uh, scissors are my number two option. I have a little pouch here, just like to sharpen my little pouch. I got this just recently and I like it. Um, I should look like one of the nerds. Remember the nerds used to have their phone or their, sorry if you do this, your phone or your pager and your belt. This goes on my belt. My friends tease me, but I've got everything right there. So pliers and scissors, the first one. Third one should go without saying is a knife. Again, cutting bait. It's a bit hard to cut all your bait with scissors, I will say. Um, cutting bait, cutting lines, um, filleting fish. This one's this one used to be my filling knife, but it's got so many chunks out of it by using it on the beach and stuff like that that I actually have another filling knife that I use now. But um, need a knife on the beach. That would be my third must-have tool. It's got a little clip, I don't click this one over my belt, but third tool there would be a fishing knife that you should take. Fourth one, might be some debate over this one because there's other things that a lot of people like. Cutting board. May or may not have stolen this one out of the kitchen. Uh, may and may not have had to tell a fib to my beautiful wife about what happened to her little cutting board. But if you've ever tried to cut, the reason I get you get, I got this little one that fits in my fishing backpack, but, um, if you've ever tried to cut bait or cut up fish, um, quite often there's a little type of fish that we can catch off the beach here, which it's legal to catch them small and use for bait. So quite often we, we're trying to fill up those as bait if we're chasing the bigger fish with that. Um, all those sort of things, if you're trying to cut on the sand or the top of a bucket or on your backpack or something like that, just it's just not fun. Take a cutting board, 
to go with your knife to cut up your bait to use on the hook. Number four. Number five, a ruler. Um, again, some people will be saying, what about a bait bucket? What about a fish hook, a fish mouth holder? All those things, yep, 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 all those things. But um, rulers are good because you can catch all sorts of weird and wonderful fish on the beach. And if, you, if you're someone who likes to keep fish to eat, then a ruler will let you know how long they are. Um, these all say in the back, this one says, a guide only not be used as a legal measurement of length. Well, um, that's because the, apparently the fisheries department have the only rulers that are actually set out in centimetres in the world. But anyway, that's a whole nother gripe. Um, I forgot a friend of mine is one, that's why I always argue with him. But um, a ruler, you know the size of the fish, you know what you can keep, you know what you can't keep you are not going to get in trouble there. And that's it, guys. That's my five must-have tools for the beach. Pliers, number one, then scissors, knife, cutting board, and ruler. I have got some others in the post, and this is where, again, as I keep saying I love about fishing, I've discussed all of them here. Um, other things that you might like to incorporate in and out of the um, five list or add to a hook remover. These are the, That's a hook remover there. They're long almost like surgical tools. Um, some have a little hook that you just sort of put in that hooks them out. A fish lip grip, which is what one of those things is there in the picture there. They, um, pliers can grab the fish's mouth, but pliers can actually sometimes damage the, the, the mouth of the fish as well. So fish lip grips are designed to go in that little strong membrane bit in behind the lips above the gills and not damage them at all. Multifunction knives, Swiss Army knives, um, they've got all the other tools. And again, if you've got one of them, they might have scissors and knives and screwdrivers and other stuff that can work, especially if you're going to be there for and need to repair anything. And a screwdriver. I actually have a screwdriver in my backpack because sometimes we've had to tighten up. God, you'd be surprised the amount of things we've had to tighten up, little things on the, on the fishing reel, little things on... The, the tools that we have, um, like we've had to tighten up the little in the little center thing on pliers and things like that. So yeah, fishing scales. Another thing that I haven't got in here that you might want to take is a bait bucket. The little belt bait buckets that go around your waist. Any of those things are good. But my five, as I keep saying, if you take nothing else, pliers, scissors, knife, cutting board, and ruler. If you can only take three take pliers, knife, and cutting board. They would be my absolute minimum option. That's it, guys. My five options. If you're watching this video within YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel below. That way you can hear all about all the things that I like when I'm fishing, don't like, my opinions, my recommendations, and you can argue with me because everyone has an opinion with fishing, which I love. Um, if you're watching within the post and you have any questions, any comments about the tools, if there's anything else that you always take, anything else that you don't take, any recommendations for the different tools or type, please comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Okay, guys, that's it. Happy fishing. Chat to you soon. Bye.